Good morning, Christians. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Sunny, and I'm one of the ministry staff for our children's ministry, Grace Kids. I hope you have been blessed by our daily devotional sharing and have been applying the Word of God in your life. The application question for today is: How would you bless the next generation? Deuteronomy chapter thirty-three opens with Moses' final address to Israel and his blessings on the individual tribes before his death. Just as Isaac and Jacob had pronounced parting blessings on their sons in Genesis, Moses left the tribes with farewell wishes for their future. After delivering his pastoral addresses in chapter twenty-nine and thirty. Installing Joshua as his successor in chapter thirty-one, and receiving Yahweh's command to climb Mount Nebo in chapter thirty-two, it seems very natural that what remains for Moses is to bless the congregation. The key verse that stood out for me today is verse one. This is the blessing that Moses, the man of God, gave to the people of Israel before his death. Verse one highlights to us that what follows in this chapter is actually part of Moses's preparations for his death. He spent his last days assembling, gathering, and blessing his congregation, rather than using the time left to either to enjoy his last moments or to arrange his own funeral. This is because Moses was concerned about the congregation who was going to survive him. The next generation who was going to enter, conquer, and possess the promised land God had promised to Israel. How can we bless the next generation today? I am thankful that our church is a multi-generational church, and my prayer is to see a waterfall of discipleship happening in our church. A waterfall is a point in a river or stream where water flows from a vertical drop. Putting it in our context, a waterfall discipleship looks like the older generation blessing the next generation, and the next generation discipling the next next generation. I strongly believe that each generation can bless, impart, and give to the next generation because each one of us has something unique to offer. I was and still am a recipient of the blessings, wisdom. Time and love taught by the generation before me. For example, I recently had a severe acne breakout because my skin had become more sensitive as I wear masks regularly. Two adults in my life quickly gave me new surgical masks, skincare products, and tips on how to take care of my skin. Thank God for them. Even though it was a simple matter, I still feel very grateful. For all that you have shared with me, all about you. Where has the Lord placed you? What life experience have you gone through that you know by sharing them could bless someone else? Who can you mentor today? You don't have to be Mr. Know It All, but let us have everything together to bless the next generation. Know what you can, with what you know, and what you have, at where you are, and the Lord will use you. Bless the next generation. We close this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the generations that has gone before us, and thank you for making Grace Assembly of God the multi generational church that you have made it to be. Lord, we pray that you help us and you guide us and you create divine opportunities for the older and old to journey together. The old and young to relate with one another, and the young and younger to know one another. Help us, help us to disciple, to bless, and to give to the next generation, so that they know how to love you. They know how to know you deeper. In just most precious name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Let's use every opportunity to bless the next generation. Goodbye.